Hey guys, it's Steve from Keynes Customs, and today I'm going to show you how to install Clipper on your Prusa Mini running off to print. You're going to need a USB power supply, two micro USB cables, a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, and an SD card. You're going to need some programs, starting with Raspberry Pi Imager, PuTTY, WinSCP, Notepad++, and I'll have my config file linked as well down below. All these links will be in the description. So first of all, we want to start up Raspberry Pi Imager to create our OctoPrint install. You want to select your SD card. Now press Control Shift X. It'll open up this menu. You want to set a host name to whatever you want your uh, website address to be. In my case, I'm going to go with clipperminilocal. You want to enable SSH and set a password. You want to click configure Wi-Fi and this will use whatever Wi-Fi your computer is currently connected to and then set your Wi-Fi country, in my case Australia, AU. And then hit right and yes and then this will take about 10 minutes. When it's done it will say that it's been written to the SD card we can close out of this and put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi. Now you want to open up your browser and go to whatever URL you set before. Or if you didn't set a URL, you can go to your router and find out what new IP address has been set up for your Pi. And then connect to that and just set up OctoPrint as you normally would. Here you want to set your name for your printer. Just going to clip a mini and then we're going to set the build volume size. It's just 18 by 18 by 18. Or 180 millimeters. Axes and hot end we can leave there fine. And finish that out. Now we want to add a new plugin. So we'll go into the settings tab here, plugin manager, and press get more. Search for clipper, and you should see Octo Clipper, and just install that. When that's finished, it'll ask you to reboot. Yes, you want to proceed. Now you'll see you have this new Octo Clipper tab over here. Try and connect it, won't do anything. And you also have this new Clipper tab over here. It comes in handy for editing your config file later. So now we want to open up PuTTY. Type in your IP address here. Accept. Username Pi password whatever you set it as before now you want to just paste these in as I do here starting with the git clone and then we will install that when it's finished Insert your password again. You can see here I had an error. So we can type in this sudo app update and that'll fix that error.
And when that's finished, we'll just try the install script again. So you can see it's working this time, it's installing everything. This will take about 10 minutes. So when that's done, I'll just be asking for your password again. We'll type that in. So now we want to go to the directory CD Clipper and do a make menu config. Enable extra low configuration options, STM32. STM32, F07, bootloader, 128 kilobyte, clock reference 12 mega crystals, and communication can just stay on USB. And then you hit press Q to quit, yes to save. So now we want to go over onto the mini and break this tab if you haven't already, with the exclamation mark on it. So there's three little bits you need to snap off. And then with the printer off, short out these two pins and turn the printer back on and remove the bridge and you can see that the screen is white you've done it correctly on the older ones there'll be three pins you just have to put a jumper on the two on the far right so now we want to do a make flash Sometimes this will just work, but if it doesn't and it asks you for a flash device, so type in LSUSB and that'll give us a list of what's connected to the Pi. And this top one here you can see is the STM device and that eight digit code there. We need to copy and paste that into here so we can write make flash device and then those eight digit numbers. Paste that in and then it should download over to the Crusoe Mini. When that's finished, we'll type in this ls serial command and that'll give us what the address is for our Crusoe Mini. Just copy and paste that over here for now. We'll need this for the next step. So open up my config file and under here with serial you want to paste in that serial address. Close that out, save it. Now we want to open up WinSCP, create a new site, hostname is just your IP address, and you want to do a username pi, login. Update, password, whatever you set it as before. Now you want to navigate to home slash pi and drag and drop your config file. And close that out. Okay. Now go back to your browser and go to your IP address, log in to your Octoprint. Probably won't connect. We'll have to do a power cycle of both the Pi and the printer, so just unplug them and plug them in. When it boots up, you should see the clipper screen there. And the website should reload. Let's give it a minute. Now we should be able to press connect, and it connects through. 
go to the clipper tab and press status and it should be all happy. Go to clip config and you should be able to see it all there. If not, try press reload from file and that might bring it in. But besides that, that's everything you need to set it up. Some Go through some values here if you want to change anything. And press save when you're done. And that brings me to the end of the tutorial. Have fun with your new Clipper Mini and let's crank some fast speeds. I'm going to be doing some more tutorials on the Clipper Mini as far as setting up Pressure Advance and Input Shaper. If you would like to subscribe to keep updated with those and they'll be coming out shortly. Thank you.